Okay, you're going to take 2,000 all the way to Cable? Affirmative. Put the microphone very close to your mouth and okay, say one, two, three, four. Okay, the cable. Uh, one, two, three, go. And uh, uh, the uh, North American iron. Press this button. Uh, uh, North and North press North that button. The, 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 the T-20, yeah, I don't need that's a GPS receiver. We don't need it, but it's nice to have it. Oh. We're going to read, get the airport weather. Press this button, please, and you're going to hear it. Yeah, this double arrow. Delta. Yeah. Whiteman Airport information, Delta, 1755 Zulu, wind 1605, visibility 10. Ceiling 2000 overcast, temperature 18, 2.12, altimeter 29 or 9 or 3. VOR Alpha circling, approaching, use landing and departing, runway 12. Also, Airmed Sierra is current for mountain obscuration and coastal IFR conditions. Details are available on HIWAS and flight service frequencies. Pilot reports are requested. Advise the controller on initial contact. That's your information, Delta. Whiteman Airport information, Delta, 1755 Zulu, wind 1605, visibility 10. Ceiling 2000 overcast, temperature 18, 2.12, altimeter 29 or 9 or 3. VOR Alpha circling, approaching, use landing and departing, runway 12. Also, Airmed Sierra is current for mountain obscuration and coastal IFR conditions. Details are available on HIWAS and flight service frequencies. Pilot reports are requested. Now flight press this button, initial please. contact, that's where I have information, Delta. Now I'm going to talk to the ground control. I'm going to tell them who we are with Cessna 10789er, where we are at rotor effects, with what weather information, that's... Delta, and what we want to do. Taxi for takeoff. Whiteman ground, Cessna 10789er at rotor effects with information, Delta. Taxi for takeoff. Cessna 10789er, Whiteman ground, runway 12, taxi by Alpha, wind 1406, altimeter 2902. Runway 12, taxi via Alpha, 10789er. Now, you can put your heels on the ground, you're going to steer now. You see that yellow line? You let the brakes go, right? You see that yellow line on the ground? We're yeah. going to turn right onto it. Press your right foot slowly. Uh. Very good. And you want to hold this yellow line between your legs as you see it. You want to be on the line. There you go. Now look east side because trucks, cars, bicyclists, motorcyclists, people, everything can go in this airport. This is a non -mo you know, no movement area. That line up there? You're going to go that way. No. You see this line going that oh, way? Oh, I see it. Turn right onto it. A little bit more. Push, push right on, right onto this. Right on this. Get onto that line. There you go. Do you see the car? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to hold that line. It's not like a car. It doesn't come out of a turn. So you have to steer it onto the line. Right. See the line ends? Yes. Uh, we're going to take the left turn, and I'm going to tell you how to do that. You're going to wait until the split point disappears under the nose, and press your left foot to follow the line. Okay. I'm going to tell you right about now. Press your left foot. There you go. Follow the line. Oh, you got to push it all the way. Yeah, there you go. Right. Left turns. Now press your right foot to hold it on the line, so that it doesn't turn too much left. There you go. Car comes out of a turn, but these don't. They just keep turning. Now we're going to turn right at the split point there. Okay. Always look this way to make sure no airplanes are coming. Yes, woo. Yeah, always keep track. Ah. Don't go full, full length. Yeah, there you go. And now press your right foot to follow the line. There. That person is moving. Very good. Now you see that AT6? Oh, it's yeah. Huge one. Whoa. That's rarely is... Uh, that's a wealthy man's toy. Yeah. We're going to go this way. Right now? Yeah, like that way. And... You see that arrow there? Yes. 
go to the base of the arrow and we're going to park on the arrow. I'm going to tell you, come come this way first. Okay. Go to the base at an angle like this. Okay. Turn, left foot. First get the airplane on the arrow a little bit more. Now right foot, right foot, let it go straight. Oh, okay. Now press your left foot all the way in to park Got on it. the arrow, like that. Like that. So that we maintain our distance from the big airplane there. It has very, very high push. The size of notice the propeller. Huge. That was the old high performance trainer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a VF21, it says. The Navy, it says. Okay, now we're going to test our engine. Okay? okay? First of all, it says cabin doors are latched, but I'm going to close your window now. Make sure it's closed. There you go. That metal thing all the all the way there. Good. Yep. No problem. Now grab the flight controls. Go all the way to the left. That position, pull it all the way to your chest. Now all the way Mike, to the Mike, right. Mike, 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 relax. Mike, relax. Push it, push it. Relax, Mike. Okay. It'll be reported as official delay push 15 it. minutes after, after your, one, your, your first call. We'll call again. Looks like they're having some different. Uh, it's going. There's a helicopter up there. You have to watch this traffic. That's going to blow us from the side a little. Got a, another airplane coming down to the left. Okay. Taxing. Very good. But he's probably headed for the warm-up. Yeah. No, this was, this is the run-up area. Oh, he's he's going to take up. That's the run we'll runway. Now we, uh, that's the runway entrance. We're going to now check the other controls. Look back completely and pull this up and down. See the elevator move? Yes. Good. Now move your feet out. Is the rudder moving? Yes. Very good. Now we have the uh, trim set here. We're not going to play around with it. Good. Now you're going to take this throttle, push it gently in until this white ne needle is right at my thumbnail. Go right ahead. Okay. Gently. 1700 RPM. Very good. Excellent. Right there. Now we check our gauges. You can let go of the throttle. Now notice these are movable to prevent the needle sticking to the plastic, the yes. electrostatic thing. We have fuel, but we checked it. Oil pressure is good in the green. Oil temperature is cool in the green. Our battery is charging. Our vacuum is good. And our hour meter is working. Now you're going to take this key and go one click to the left. Good. One click to the right. Good. One, two clicks to the left. Good. One, two clicks to the right. Magneto check? Yes. And we're actually checking our spark plugs. Uh, airplane engines have two spark plugs per cylinder. You put them on one, completely different system. We put it on one, it works. We put it on the other, it works. We use both. Get better uh, performance. Good. Pull this all the way out. And No, not that one. This one. Oh. Engine has to work with carburetor heat and RPM drops. Very good. Now pull this all the way out. Engine has to work with carburetor at idle because it's the landing configuration. Good. Now push this all the way in. Now I'm going to check the flight instruments. Two board there. This one is not even near. So that's the heading. In. Four. Right about two four. Right there. Yes. And our altimeter is set correctly. Field altitude is reading. Now. Because you know the field is at 1,000. 1,008 feet. Oh, okay. Okay. And the altimeter they give us is here, but we're not at 1,100. Anyway, we have our choice. I prefer to set it to field altitude. Because you know that's what it is. It's in the airplane, uh, I mean, uh, chart supplement. Right. And now uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to test the airplane full power. Full brakes. Full brakes. Now I'm going to put full power in. Make sure we get the RPM. Uh, too little there, right? We want it right about there. Max RPM. Okay. Right about there. Right about there. Good. degrees of flaps. Flaps down to 10 degrees. Good. 
Now you can take your foot off the pedals. I'm going to close this window. That's taken off. That gives us little time. We don't want to take off behind them. It sucks the uh, air out very badly. Clear left. Very good. Nobody coming. Very good. There's one plane ahead of us, okay, so he's going to take the, that big one. Military planes, you have to be very careful with. They make huge turbulence, depending yes. on their pilot and what they're doing. So it pays the weight. I'm going to switch to Whiteman Tower here. Make sure I got one, two. Switch to Van Nuys here. So there's A2A Sierra Papa, left close approved, we're one, two, clear for takeoff. A2A Sierra Papa, clear for takeoff, on one, two. Four four Lima contact Burbank 108.7. We'll see you. Whiteman Tower, System 10789er, holding short of runway 12 at Alpha for right down in departure into Van Nuys airspace. System 10789, Whiteman Tower, hold short runway 12. Holding short runway 12, 10789er. And uh, Skyline uh, 76 November, uh, we just got traffic point out to us that we can accept a release, expect a release after. It's a, uh, just coming over the 14.5 split inbound to Van Nuys over there, about a nine mile final. So just about another minute or so. Skyline 76, or yeah, 76 November, tax up to Old Short 30. Holding Short of 30, thank you very much, Don. You really appreciate it. Holding short, runway 121079er. I know usually I want to do this, but that guy's been waiting down there for a while, so, and a right down one is going to kind of conflict with that, so I'm going to get this IFR down, out over there, and you can uh, expect to go after him. Very well, we'll hold short, runway 121079er. There is another guy at the other end of the runway. He's waiting for IFR clearance. He's going to go into the clouds. But those only take off this way, Oh. even though it's tailwind. So he's, that guy has been waiting there for probably like uh, 10 minutes. I know that. And to get clearance, because you have to get it from SoCal, they have to check every airplane going everywhere. And so he says he's going to let that one out first, so he's going to take off that way. Then he's okay. going to let us take Interesting. I thought it was down with the beam. Depending on the wind, everybody would take off in the same direction. Yeah. So the ACR and Papa, runway 1 2 clear to land, and if it will make a short approach. Short approach will do. A2 ACR Papa clear to land 1 2. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's making a short approach. Well, I thought the guy, there was some, someone taking off with the... Uh, he let this one in first before the other one. I wouldn't have done that, but... Um, that was the guy about in front of us who took off. Oh, you're right, it was. Yeah. So the answer probably no delay to Delta. No delay to Delta, A2A, Skyline 
76 November, runway 30, clear for takeoff, wind 1206. Clear all 30, Skyline 76 November, thank you for all you do, Daniel. And you too, Mike. <laughs> We're all happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he thanked uh, this one, landing one, and the tower. Now he's taken off right, you're seeing. He should be coming up the runway. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there he is. That's because he... Yeah, he's up. Okay. Sierra 7688 Romeo is ready in sequence. Close traffic. Let's try again on that call sign. There's a guy behind yep. that was that the one. Piper. So he's up and away. And 2788 Romeo, why we turn hold short only one, two in sequence. 688 Romeo holding short. Skyline 76 November, contact uh, SoCal 134.2, we'll see you. 34.2, you have a great uh, weekend, Daniel. Uh, Skyline 76 November. So 789 are right down with departure approved, east of the 5, runway 12, clear for takeoff. Right down in departure, food east of 5, cleared for takeoff, runway 12, 10789er. Now we're going to align with the center of the runway, hands on this. Hands on this. Papa, taxi to peace, okay. Hey, sir, Papa, Grab right this throttle, right right push it all the way right. in nicely. All the way in. All the way in. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Now hands on this. Ready? All right. Here we go. Push the throttle in. Lock in position. Now lift the nose a little up like that. Very good. Center. Make sure you're not on the brakes. And pull it a little towards your chest, just like that. Now nose down. There is the tower. And the wind changes right across the tower. You see <laughs> that? Okay, hold it a little loosely. There you go. Oh, it's turbulent. These clouds, they're going to shake us a little, but that's okay. You see that silver tank up ahead? Looks like a refinery fuel tank. Yes, yes. We're going to go straight toward it, to the right edge of it. Okay. You see this big pit? Yeah. We're going to go by the pit, then we're going to go across the pit. Okay. All right. I'll tell you. We're going to go a little bit more out. Now, tilt right and a little bit to your chest, a little bit, not too much, because it'll be that a little too much. So like right about there. there you go, guy behind us. That's Interstate 5. Then they're facing it, wings level. Okay. Right about now, run our wings All level. Right. Now we're going to go that way. Okay. Tilt right. All right. And a little bit to your chest. So got a climb of 500 feet. Very good. Don't worry about that part. We're, doing, we're, in the, we're still in the takeoff procedure. And there it is. You see the airport? Uh huh. Okay. And a guy is taking off, so we're going to keep an eye on that one. He is rolling. Pull the flaps all the way up. Very good. Uh, now there's uh, the guy. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, morning. We got to check the airspeed. Got 70 knots. And BJ and Romeo Rogers. Yeah, he aborted. Turn your discretion. Do you require additional assistance? Uh, I'm not going to say that. Was he has some kind of trouble. Uh oh. Very good. Hold the nose like that. What altitude do you want to climb to? You're going to be 1,800 right there. Push the nose forward. Okay. Flight one tower, one zero seven eight nine are requesting frequency change. So this is a correction, so it's a seven eight nine or contact Van Nuys, could it? Contact Van Nuys, one uh, one zero seven eight nine or rest this button. Oh, yeah. Hey Romeo wind is Van Nuys Tower, Cessna one zero seven eight nine or southeast of one eighteen five interchange, requesting transition through Van Nuys airspace south along four oh five. Cessna 10789 or Van Nuys Tower, transition on the 405 freeway approved, 1800, altimeter 2980. Transition south along 405 approved, 10789 or we'll stay east of 405 or we'll step over there.
Okay, this is 118 freeway. Okay. That's 5 freeway. Okay. Now you see the 405 freeway there? Yes. Going north-south? Yes. Just to the east of the 405 freeway, there's a boulevard called Sepulveda going parallel to the freeway. Okay. Do you see it? We're going to turn left over Sepulveda. We're going to stay over Sepulveda Boulevard. Okay. All right, man. Once you see the boulevard, do you see it? With the cars? Going yes. Parallel to the freeway? Uh-huh. Now gently turn left over to Sepulveda. Okay. There you go. And a little shallow of the turn so we get to the street. 1150 at 8. Very good, excellent. Just push the nose a little forward so that it doesn't climb. Very yeah. good, get to the street, then follow the street. That's Van Nuys Airport. Yep. Very good. Excellent. You're flying. Now once you get to the street, rings level. And, you know, rings are level when these are parallel, you know that. Yep. And push the nose down so that we don't go above 1,800. Okay. Very good. We're going to go all the way down. You see those buildings at the end of the boulevard? Yep. We're going to go to those buildings. No, you're pulling too much up. Just push forward. Push forward. Yeah, push there forward down until it's level. Yep. There you go. There you go. Hold us there. Very good. And let's see. There's some clouds coming in. That's okay. Uh, downtown LA, you can see it. It's not hazy today. Yep. Yeah, go a little lower. Yeah, I'm a little above. Yeah. Hold, hold the chest under one eight. Yeah, you don't need to pull up. <coughs> That's why it's going up. Sure, zero two zero. Hold it down until the needles go down. And you pull it just left. little up until this reaches zero. Yes. There you go. Excellent. A little bouncy. Yeah, it's better than uh, two days ago. It was a lot more bouncy. Oh, really? Yeah, Tom was heating the... Directly up finals for friction directly up the departure. Tom was heating the valley. Heat, uh, heated air rising. It was shaking us every which way. Oh. This is, you know, like cushy compared to... Push the nose down. You want to go... Kind of ground point seven, kitty. Hold it down, down like this. Never be afraid of pushing it down like oh, this okay. to get to the altitude. All right. The airplane is going to gain speed, which is good, because it's going to try to come up. So you don't have to pull up as much. Now hold, hold level. If you pull up, it's going to go up. Just hold level there. It's okay. going to go up slowly. There you go. Now you want to hold it there by pushing it down mostly. Right there. Burbank jets pass right over us. That's why it says 1,800 and lower. Oh, yeah. We don't want to get too close to them because they'll make so much turbulence they can actually turn us upside down. And Burbank Airport is right there. You see the right of the wing. Push the nose down a little. There you go. A little bit more down. You see that lake? Yes. That's Balboa Park south of Van Nuys. Yep. You can go park there for free, you know. And then you can even rent a paddle boat to paddle on the lake. Very good. Turkey 020, only 16 left, clear for the option. On the go, resume left, close traffic. And again, the pattern altitude is 2,000. Your altitude is indicating 1,600, which is a little bit low for the pattern. We're at 1,800. What's the approach altitude for um, White uh, Bend? Uh, no, for the uh, going into Burbank. Going into Burbank, it is more or less okay, 1,800. We can climb to 2,000. Climb to 2,000? Yeah, but okay. we're not going to go to Burbank, so push push it down. We're going to make a sharp left turn here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Right up the buildings, and we're going to go back to White Bend. Then I saw system one zero seven eight nine. We'd like to make a sharp left one eighty and go back to Whiteman at Ventura Boulevard. System one zero seven eight nine. Then I saw and approved as requested. Altimeter two nine eight eight. Approved as requested. One zero seven eight nine. I pushed the nose down a little. Now I'm going to show you, this is Sepulveda Pass, 405 Freeway, uh -huh. going to Santa Monica. I'm going to show you how to make a very sharp left turn. Just follow my motion. Okay. 
we haven't done this before. Ventura Boulevard is where uh, those big tall buildings are. Yes. And the 101 freeway is right under you. Okay. We're going to go up a little. I'll bring the nose level. Now we're going to do this with precision. Ready? Okay. Power idle. Tilt. Pull to your chest. Pull to your chest. Notice how sharp we're turning. Pull to your chest. Push the nose down a little. Okay. Pull to your chest. Pull to your Whoa. chest. Notice we <laughs> turn right over the... Right <laughs> over the... Street. Did you see that? Right there. Yep. Right there. There you go. Did a complete 180. 180 in very sharp time and no high Gs. Notice, you know, our brains didn't <laughs> move in, the, uh, in our skulls. Uh, no high Gs. And this is a... Uh, Rescue maneuver, if you're going somewhere, all of a sudden a cloud comes up, you do this. Because if you turn at high speed, it's going to pull so high, geez, it's going to pull your, you know, right. every part of your body in every direction. Pull the blood from your head. Yeah. And this has no high, geez. Zero. It's also, you know, upon takeoff, you lose your engine, you can turn back this way very sharp. But we train people for that one. Push the nose a little bit down. There you go. Now you're gently up, gently. Very good. Now you're getting the hang of it. Not too much up, so you know, hold the nose level there. There you go. Ooh, push the nose down. I can give you a little less throttle. They're going very fast, 100 miles an hour. There you go. There you go. Hmm. I'm kind of chasing it. There you go. Yeah, you'll get used to it. I'm not, yeah. I'm not ahead of it. I'm kind of behind it. Yeah, that's right. But there you go now. Pull up now. Push, start pushing down as it comes to that. Yeah. You're pushing down a little late. That's and a little too much. That's why. So you get used to all of this. Contact Whiteman Tower one three five point zero one zero seven eight nine. Whiteman Tower, Cessna one zero seven eight nine, or just north of Van Nuys Airport, over Sepulveda, inbound the land. One zero seven eight nine. Enter right base runway one two. Report crossing the five. One zero seven eight nine. Control ground line report information echoes now. Colonel two nine nine two. Wind one three zero two. Control ground line report information echoes now. Colonel two nine nine two. Wind one three zero two. Very good. Not bad. Excellent. Now you see that green area, the circular, that's VA hospital there. You see that green area there? Yes. So head to it directly and climb the 2,000 feet. You're going to go to the intersection of 5 and 118, you see right directly behind it. Okay. Very good, point to the intersection, wings level now, and go up another 100 feet. Now you see that little hill? Yes. Airport is Whiteman Airport is just below the hill. Right below that. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go parallel to the uh, 118 freeway to the north of it. Then we're gonna turn and land. Got it. Very good. We'll land on three zero. Uh, no, one two. One two. Three zero is only for IFR, depending oh, okay. on the wind. But wind is. Uh, you know, we're gonna follow. We're gonna lean land into the wind. Okay. Tailwind is very dangerous, especially illegal if it's over 10 knots. So 789, runway 12, clear to land, wind 1206. Runway 12, clear to land, 10789. Now give me 10 degrees of flaps. 10. Very good. Now we're going to slow down and hold the nose down because here's the airport, right? Notice how high we are? Uh-huh. Now we're going to hold the nose down so that we can get down and the flaps are slowing us down nicely. Otherwise, we'd have been right there. Right. 
Okay. Now give me 20 degrees of flaps. Very good. Oops. Excellent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, you out control latch. Okay, you've got the control. latch the seatbelt. How in the world did that happen? Don't know. Your your hand must have. Is it latched? There we go. Okay, good. My fault. No, we're good. no, no, no problem. Now, give me thirty degrees of flaps. Notice how high we are. Okay. But it's safe. You see, if something happens, we okay. have the altitude speaking for us. Right? Okay. So we're going to turn gently to the runway because the airplane is very sluggish with the flaps flaps down. Nothing sudden. You see those two bright lights? Yes. They say very high, but that's good because you don't want to come, sk you know, skimming over those trees and power lines. Right. And the turbulence sucks us down. Engine is, doesn't have enough power to right. pull you back up. So that's why uh, we don't come. You know, our speed is perfect. Sixty knots. Yeah, sixty knots is perfect. Now it looks like we're going to make it to the runway. So give me forty degrees of flaps. All the flaps down. We put the last bit of flaps later because it's going to give us more descent rate. Okay. So I'm going to hold it up here. So we clear these power lines and hold the nose down. Never pull the nose up while coming into landing like this. Add engine power first if you want to, you know, go around. Now hold on. Let's. We're going to come in like that. Notice it sucks you down a little bit. Here, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah. Little bit up, little bit up, little bit up, little bit up. Right Ooh. there, one, two, three, we got it. Do you like it? Oh. <laughs> I put the one wind tire, the other tire, then the nose one. We had a slight crosswind. That's the reason. Yeah. Now pull the flaps up. Flaps all the way up. Oh, all the way up. No, reach and open your window. Okay. Very good. We look to see nobody's coming in. Clear right One, and left. Two, five point zero. Push this button. Yeah, I, I did it. One more time. Push oh. one more time. Light and ground. Cessna one zero seven eight nine or clear or runway one two. Taxi to parking, please. Cessna one zero seven eight nine or one ground taxi to parking. Taxi to parking. The Alpha one zero seven eight one zero seven eight nine. Now your your plane. That is to say, you're you're steering it with your foot. You're going to hold us on this line. Okay. Little bits at a time. There you go. Very good. Little to the little to the right. There you go. Stay on the line. That is to say, hold the line between your feet. You see that red and white big plane? Not this small one, but that one there. The uh, the Arrow Commander? Ah, uh, no. It's right behind it. The Cessna Skymaster. It has a propeller in the back. And yes, a yes, yes. Propeller in the back, right there. You're going to turn right in front of it. You're going to take the right turn right here. Okay, right here. Your right foot in. Just follow the line. There you go, you can see your friends out there. Very good, what we're going to do is we're going to go around that blue uh, plane. So that we don't have to hand park the plane, but look right and left to make sure nobody's coming. There. We're going to go that way. There is a yellow line, a little bit less left foot. There is a uh, yellow line right up there going toward the hangars. We're going to follow that for a short while. Okay. And we're going to go in and do it. Hello, ground, we'll drive 540 Bravo Delta, row 15, cross the tower, taxi, there's the act, we've got echo. Put it back. Hold on, 540 Bravo Delta, we're on ground runway 1 2, taxi alpha. Uh, we'll alpha, Bravo Delta. Right. Somebody left the chains. Uh, I'm going to maneuver around this. Somebody left the chains dangling. But they're right about aligned right here. So right 
little bit more this way and a little bit more that way. Like right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shut the airplane down according to the checklist. Okay. That says shut the radios off first.